Oh, we are a month away from the winter solstice, and while it may feel cold, we can't say it's winter. I know. <laughs> not yet. It, it feels like we should be able to say it's winter. I know, but it's not. It's still a month away, so we know we talk about solstice, but what is it? What, what happens when that comes around exactly? I, I like to do this on the Weather Talk uh, podcast all the time because people always ask me, what do you mean when you say winter starts at 448, like right at the moment? What yeah. happens at that time? And, of course, I have a, a nice graphic to show you <laughs> to kind of illustrate it here. Now, you guys know that our Earth is tilted on its axis by 23 and a half degrees, right? So as we go around the sun, just like that little graphic shows you there, sometimes we're leaning towards the sun, sometimes we're leaning away from the sun. The winter solstice is when we're leaning the furthest back from the sun. So that's why it's the coldest part of the year. And now you know. And that's only a month away. But here's the interesting thing. Some of the uh, sunsets, the latest sunsets, actually occur at the beginning of December and not around the solstice like you would think. So today, the sunrise was at 656, the sunset at 447. That produces nine hours and 50 minutes of daylight. On the solstice, the sunrise is actually later, but the sunset isn't too much further from where we are right now. Sunset on the 21st is at 446, but the sunrise at 722, and that produces the shortest daylight of the year nine hours and 24 minutes and then on the 22nd we start to add daylight and things get a little bit brighter but the coldest part of the winter is in january because that always kind of lags behind the solstices i'll explain that on the podcast coming up on wednesday <laughs>